here with Andre Rozier. Now, Andre, this is, is not your first rodeo with this. You know, you had Danny Jacobs, uh, you trained him, and now you're training um, Sergey. Tell me maybe what you're going to work on or what, what, what flaws you saw in Sergey against Danny Jacobs. Well, basically, uh, they, they're two different athletes, uh, Triple G and Daniel. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to our defensive circle where Sergey works off his angles. It's no surprise. It's no secret. And um, we're going to concentrate on making sure his jab is razor sharp and uh, make him uncomfortable. And tell us a little bit about the athlete, Sergey. No better, no better fighter on this planet to work with. He is like heaven on earth when it comes to training a fighter. And uh, I'm just very happy to be back with him. I wasn't with him for two fights, and uh, now we're back together. And um, he's going to be getting back to his old movement, his old technical capabilities, and that will render the decision in, on his behalf, and he will be victorious on October 5th. And what do you think Jonathan Banks is going to bring bring to this game? Now, you seem to be good friends uh, through the years, a lot of respect there, family, as you say. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, I love Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan is a fantastic uh, young trainer. He, uh, he was a fantastic athlete, and um, he started uh, working with fighters, and he morphed into a wonderful trainer. And uh, like I said, I won't have the fun that I did with Abel Sanchez because there's nothing for me to talk about or to fight about when it comes to Jonathan. The only thing I can say is that I know he's going to do his best to make sure that Gennady is ready to fight. And... Um, I can say I'll enjoy the competitiveness of what we're going to face with uh, being across the ring from each other. And um, what do you think Jonathan Branks, Banks uh, brought to GGG's game? Uh, did you see the Steve Rolls fight? Well, you didn't see much in the Steve Rolls fight, but I know he's going to bring the Detroit edge. He's going to bring that cronk flavor, and um, I'm a big fan of it. And um, it's going to be very, very exciting. They're going to put on a great show. Uh, some people, now I always take a victory as a victory, you know, as a fourth round knockout, but some people were a little uh, concerned maybe with GGG getting uh, hit there in, uh, in the beginning. I mean, did, did you have any thoughts on that? No, it's boxing. I mean, sometimes, and it's been a moment since he had actually boxed. He had a, a period of time where he just wasn't boxing. So you know, a little a little rust sometimes comes into play. You have to loosen it up, get comfortable again. But when he got comfortable, we saw what happened. Well, best of luck there. Are you going to train here in New York, or where are you going to go? Well, we've been training, uh, and we probably are going to be going out to California uh, working with uh, James uh, Mike Basil at his Aloha gym, and um, I'm just looking forward to a, a, a wonderful, wonderful training camp. And of course, we'll be uh, stopping by to see Victor Conti at Snack, uh, one of my favorite locations to, to train, and uh, we're just going to turn it up to the ninth degree. Well, good luck there, and thank you for your time. Thank you so much, and have a great day. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Madison Square Garden. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.